I'll be honest, there were some points throughout the first part of this Vultures rollout when I wasn't entirely convinced we were actually going to get an album. But lo and behold, Kanye proved everyone who said Vultures would be the next Yandi completely wrong. I think in retrospect, as soon as Kanye held that first listening party in Miami on December 12th for Vultures, it should have been obvious to us that this would not be another Yandi situation because in my opinion, when he puts on a show for the people to preview new music, that's the biggest indicator that he's locked in and going to drop. Not only that, but Yandi in general just did not have the effort and care put into it that Vultures did. I think because Kanye just didn't strongly believe in the Yandi concept, whereas for Vultures, he was extremely motivated and hungry to prove to the public that he's uncancelable and that no matter what he said in the past, he is still the king. Similar to how he felt coming back from the Taylor Swift VMAs controversy back in 2009. From here on out though, we have to remember that Kanye has promised us three complete volumes of vultures, and while he locked in enough to finish one, it remains to be seen whether he will be able to keep this up for two more projects. So while Vultures 1 certainly beat the Yandi allegations, the jury is definitely still out for Vultures 2 and and three. Looking back on the list of currently being worked on Volume 2 songs we got yesterday, of all of these, only City Underground and so-called Friends are completely unheard, while basically everything else is supposedly finished as far as we know besides Love Love Love, which is still an unknown. The big question I think is what these songs will sound like when they officially get released since quite a few tracks got completely overhauled to match the final vision Kanye had for Vultures 1 like Carnival and Fuck Some. Luckily, Kanye's next listening party is actually tonight after the Super Bowl, so we could hear some Volume 2 songs at this event. As of right now, we are pretty sure the event will be streamed likely on Yeezy.com, but that hasn't really been confirmed yet. Regardless of what happens, I'll be streaming a watch party for the event over on Kick, so we all have a place to congregate and see if Kanye will preview any new songs that didn't see a release on Volume 1. We also learned yesterday that Kanye and his team are apparently trying to clear everybody to get it included on Vultures 1, but at this point I'd take anything about sample clearances with a grain of salt. Kanye did not get permission to use samples on So Good and King, and he dropped those songs anyway, so at this point I don't think sample clearance is something that's impeding Kanye at all. If he wants to use something, he's just going to use it regardless of whether he has permission to or not. Well, despite all the celebrations for releasing this album, Kanye's work is certainly not done yet, and him and Ty are going to need to re-lock in for the next two Vultures volumes, which we may get a sneak peek of tonight at his Las Vegas listening party. The event doesn't have a time listed, however, it's definitely after the Super Bowl, so I would assume that this will be a late night affair for Kanye that will hopefully be broadcasted to the public. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and let me know down in the comments if you think we are going to get some new Volume 2 material tonight.